Hey, welcome. I'm John Zadar. This is the last weekend of October, the slowest month of the year. We are coming into the best months of the year, November, December, and January. All those holidays, having all those loved ones around us. Folks, this makes for happy investors, and happy investors make for a happy market. So I got real high hopes for the next 90 days. This is On Top and Hot, brought to you by Penny Boys. You probably know them from their PB alerts. Everybody loves a good alert, money in your pocket, sure. But don't overlook Penny Boys University. They have got the top-notch training I have seen. They really show you not only how to find a good trade, but how to make it so that you can make money consistently. Now, what I do here is I look at stocks on the OTC market. I look at stocks that are penny stocks normally, but anything on the OTC market is game. Now, I had originally jumped in today and started just doing some DD looking at stocks, and I was gonna share that with you, but the very first one I jumped into well, turned out to be a little gold mine. So I'm gonna share that with you right now. I think you're gonna be surprised at what I found, especially if you like money fast. This could be a real nice find. Enjoy. Now it is my habit to always begin my due diligence and research on an OTC stock at otcmarkets.com. Why not? This is where the FINRA and SEC put all the filings and the stock information, specifically and purposely so you and I have a place to find it and trust it. This is current information, so why go out on Google doing a search, finding information that may be outdated? Come to the same pool they're all fishing in. Might as well. All right, first thing we're going to take a look at here is how the day ended. It was not a great day for the OTC market. Dollar-wise, she did $2.5 billion. Average, she does $2.1. So she did do more money. But shares, oh my goodness, folks, that is almost half of a slow day. $16 billion compared to $30 billion on a slow day. A good day, you're up at $45 billion and higher. So this is scandalous. And the trades were 459,000, which is about average. So this tells me a lot more expensive shares were being sold today and the cheaper stocks were not selling. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I had to move myself out of that corner up there. Down here, I'm not blocking any information for you. Now, the reason I come to the otcmarkets.com to do research primarily isn't just because it's current and it's coming from FINRA and SEC, but because this site themselves correlate information in unique ways that I can put to very beneficial use that I can't find in other places. One of my favorite pages here is the current market. Current market will show you all the activity, the most active stocks on the entire OTC market. That's 11,800 stocks being scanned for you automatically. You can search these by dollar volume, who had the most money put into them, who sold the most shares, or what I prefer to look at, who had the most trades. Now, why is that important? Well, let's put it this way. Here's 19,000 trades for one stock. I'm presuming there are more than two or three people doing 19,000 trades, right? Hundreds of people, maybe thousands of people. And where there are thousands of people, you have interest. Crowds are significant because they tell you there's interest. And as soon as interest begins, begins, you want to be there. You don't want to be on the tail end, which is why I'm looking at this particular one right here. Now, I normally look at all the stocks, but I caught this one before I even got to hit the button, so I just jumped in on it. Now, they had 533 trades, so we figured there's at least a couple hundred people around this company right now, but they only did 70,000 shares. Now, that's not a lot of shares, so why would I be really interested in it? What if this is just the beginning of the interest? What if they are just starting the ball rolling and they haven't got it going really fast yet? Wouldn't you want to be in on something early rather than late? So I jumped into this to look and there was a lot of curious details, which is why I'm showing it to you now. They did do 100% gains today. They're at 14 bucks. That means they were at $7 at the start of the day. That's a huge jump in one day. Their ticker, BRTXD. Now take a notice of that D. 
On the OTC market, in many cases, the last letter is a signifier of something going on. The D tells us the ticker is going to change. They are going to change the ticker. They could do that because they're changing their name. They could do that because they're uplisting. My inclination is because they're uplisting. I have found some tidbits of information that make it look like that's exactly what's going on. So let's go jump in over there and I'll show you what I found. This is Bio Restorative Therapies. Like I said, they're at $14 with 103% gains today. They are pink current. They are on the pink tier, which is the bottom tier. Not a horrible tier. There's nothing wrong with it if you're keeping your nose clean. But there's a lot of companies down here that don't keep their nose clean because there's a lot of shadows to hide in in the pink. You don't have to disclose a lot of information to exist down here. So first off, let's take a look at that volume. We said that 70,000 shares is what she moved today and that was pretty bad. Well, she only does 2,000 regularly. So that is 30 times more shares moved today, yesterday, than normal. That is 30 times more interest that we pay attention to. And jumping from two to 70 is a huge jump. What if it jumps from 70 to 1.5 million on Monday? That's gonna be a huge jump. All right, what else can I show you over here? Well, this is where the story really begins. Security details. Take notice how many they have total, authorized shares. 300 billion, that's right folks, 300 billion shares they could put on the market and sell. They would flood the market and their company's shares would be worth diddly. Nobody would want them. But here's the amazing thing. They've got less than 1 million, 1 million on the market. 872,000 shares is all that's on the market. And the float obviously is lower, 764. Out of 300 billion, why? How does that happen? Well, glad you asked. <laughs> Down here at the bottom, we get that piece of information. Right here, three days ago, October 27th, 2021, they had a reverse split. They took 4,000 shares and gave you one share. That's right, if you had 8,000 shares Thursday morning, Friday morning you woke up, you had two shares. That's right, they traded you. But they also kicked the price up 4,000 times as much. So, and I can't do the math right off the top of my head, but if it was 0 .001, it might be $4 today. So your two shares are worth the exact same amount of money as your 8,000 shares were yesterday, as long as the price doesn't fall. So they did this and took away 4,000, well, a, a, a ratio. You would multiply this out times 4,000 and that's how many shares you would have. So, you know, you're up there at uh, 40 million shares or something like that. I don't know, but they brought it way down. So why did they do that? Well, you normally do that to up list. You kick your price up over three or four dollars to get onto the NASDAQ. Is that possible? Well, I'll tell you what I found over here. They are, <laughs> this is kind of funny. They just did a reverse split and that's what this 8K is for on the 26th. And then on the 27th, they did it. Yeah, I moved again. I keep hiding information and I don't want to do that. All right, we're looking at the very last filing for this company. Came out October 29th. That is Friday. And I think this had a lot to do with why the company ran from $7 to $14. And I'm going to share that information with you. Now, I strongly suggest that if I entice you, and I'm sure I'm going to, that you come back and read this. This has a lot of information. It'll probably tell you everything you need to know. Now, why would anything I tell you really entice you? Because I'm going to show you an opportunity that just developed itself because of circumstances with this company and the timing. The timing is crucial right now. and We're in the right spot at the right time and we can make some money here. So as I said, if you're enticed, come back and read all of this. First thing I want to share with you though is what is the company? What do they do? This is a stem cell company. They do stem cell research. There we go. 
and they tell us right here we are a life sciences company focused on the development of regenerative medicine products and therapies using cell and tissue protocols primarily involving adult stem cells not embryonic not from babies our two core development programs relate to disc spine disease and metabolic disorders now the disc spine disease they have a drug uh, BRTX100 this is for lower back pain the treatment is intended for patients whose pain has not been alleviated by non-surgical procedures or conservative therapies and who potentially face the prospect of highly invasive surgical procedures we submitted an IND application to the FDA to obtain authorization to commence phase two clinical trials investigating the use of BRTX100 in the treatment of chronic lower back pain arising from degenerative disc disease. That's the first one. The second one is ThermoStem. We are developing a cell-based therapy candidate to target obesity and metabolic disorders using brown adipose fat derived from stem cells. Researchers have found that people with higher levels of brown fat may have a reduced risk for obesity and diabetes. The brown fat cells seem to eat calories a lot faster than regular fat, so it eats the fat and you lose weight. That could be big. What else I got here to share with you? They've got a lot going on in the world. Uh, I did pass one thing up here. Uh, we have obtained a worldwide, except Asia and Argentina, exclusive license to utilize or sublicense a method for hypoxic culturing of cells. So they are working in the rest of the world and are protected in that regard. We have established a relationship with Pfizer with regard to a joint study of the development and validation of human brown adipose fat cell model. Again, losing weight. They've got a lot of IP, intellectual property, that they've protected through patents. You can see here that they have it in the United States, um, Australia, Europe, Japan, Israel, and they've been getting these patents for years, including this last year, 2021, they've gotten quite a few of them. And patents are where you make your money. This protects all of your science. Now, I'm not gonna read it all, but you can see here their near-term goals for 2021. Most of it has to do with their BRTX100. And 2022, again, they are working with getting these drugs to market. Now, they have stated right here, we have applied to list our common stock and warrants on the NASDAQ capital market under the symbols BRTX for the stock and BRTXW for the warrant. NASDAQ listing requirements include, among other things, a minimum bid price threshold. You've got to be at three to four dollars. You can't be on the market. You can't uplist unless your stock is that price. As a result, in order to meet that requirement, on October 27th, we affected a one to 4,000 reverse split of our common stock. Told you, that's how you get up there. So they've done that, but if NASDAQ does not approve the listing of our common stock and warrants, we will not proceed with this offering. Now, I haven't shown you this offering yet. This offering that I'm about to share with you is where we can make some money fast. I mean, fast. All right, what, what else we got here? This is why things have come together the way they have. On March 20th, 2020, the company filed for bankruptcy. Now, most companies, if they have any meat on their bones, if they have any value or brand recognition, they don't go bankrupt and disappear. They reorganize, which is exactly what this company did. They went out and found some big money and reorganized and got things back online. Now, I want to share with you the opportunity. Are you ready for this? I'm excited to share this with you. It's at the very top of the page. All right, here we go, folks. Drum roll, maestro. Thank you very much. All right, I told you that they had just done a reverse split for one to 4,000. They took a ton of shares off the market and now we're left with only three quarter million float, which is unbelievable, unheard of, especially in a stem cell company that's gonna uplist. Oh my God. So this is a little ironic and unusual. They are putting back on the market just over two million shares, but they're not just putting shares on the market. They're putting up units. 
What is a unit? A unit is a package deal. Buy the stock and get a free gift. For every share, we'll match you a free gift. What is the free gift? You're going to like this. This is a firm commitment public offering. So it can't be changed. And that's good because it's in our favor right now, big time. Uh, each unit consists of one share of stock and one warrant. And that warrant is good to buy another share of stock. But here's the big deal. You get to buy it at a discounted price. You ready for this? Another drum roll, maestro? Thank you. <laughs> it says right here that each warrant is immediately exercisable for the purchase of one share of common stock at a price of $9 a share. You heard me right, folks. You buy a unit, you get a share of stock. You also get a warrant, which is good to buy one share of stock at a set price that will never change. Well, not never, it will change in five years. These are good for five years. So you buy it now and you can go get a share of stock for what was the price? $14. That's right. I can see your brains clicking right now. The warrant allows you to buy the shares of stock at $9 regardless of the price. And yes, that just came out on Friday when the price was $7. Then it jumped. Now it's over the $9 price. They thought you'd have to pay more than the price, but the stock has gone over. What's happening here, folks? When they did the reverse split and it became a low float stock, one, the price went up. They qualified to get on the NASDAQ. Two, the stock has such a low float, it is going to draw in all sorts of people who want to invest in it. Three, you now have a warrant that allows you to buy this stock at $9 immediately. You don't have to wait a year. You don't have to wait six months. You don't have to wait one month. As soon as you get your warrant, that is applicable now. So you can trade in your warrant, give them $9, they'll give you a share of stock. Whatever that share of stock is worth, that's what you can sell it for, instant profit. So if you were to go out and buy 10 shares right now at $14, let's say the units were $14 a piece, the units normally are the price of the share, plus just a little bit more, you, you would pay $140. You'd get 10 shares of stock and 10 shares you can buy later at $9 each. You just paid $140 and now you're going to be able to get 10 more for only $90. You paid $140 and get 10 more for $90. And if you wait, those may be worth $100, $150 in three years. You'll still only pay $9 for that share and can immediately turn around and sell it for $100, $150. Just like that. Now, the last thing we need to take a look at before we go running over to the chart is the money. What sort of money is she making? Well, she is an R&D. R&D companies, research and development are leeches. They're sponges. They suck money, suck money. They need money to keep working, keep researching. They got to pay everybody for doing their work, but they're not selling anything. They got no products. They're not making any income. So normally they have to keep selling shares and keep selling shares and keep selling shares until you have so many shares on the market, it just isn't worth anything. And then when they come time to uplist, boom, they take all those shares back in a reverse split and they get up to the NASDAQ which is really what's been going on with this company. So you're not going to see a lot of money. They say they had $33,000 that they made this last six months and the year before it was $45,000. They're not doing a lot, but they're not selling anything. They're research and development. And as is normal, they are running at a loss. When you have to keep paying for things and you're not making any money, you're getting deeper and deeper in debt. So they do have a lot of debt right now, but that is normal. That is completely and utterly normal for any R&D company that has nothing to sell. Once they get something to sell, it all changes. Once the FDA approves a drug, boom, everything changes and they are off and running. You see the drug companies that have drugs in the market making lots of money. So this company is normal. They're not doing anything to make revenue, so they don't have any revenue. They're spending money left and right, so they're going to be running at a loss. But they are now ready to uplist stem cell company, low float with warrants that are in the profit as soon as you buy them. Woo! K 
Can you believe that? Let's go run and look at that chart. You're looking at TOS, Think or Swim. It's a free trading platform that you can get from TD Ameritrade. Signing up with them is free too. You don't have to actually trade with them, but you got to keep your account open. They'll give you a link, download it, voila, you're doing what I'm doing, right? All right, we are looking at BRTXD. The D is there because they're gonna change their ticker symbol because they're uplisting. And they'll just go to BRTX. We are looking at the five day, five minute chart. Now this is a pretty decent chart, but it's the only chart. What I mean by that is this here, uh, that sold on the 27th, that is the only sale. You go back a month, there are none. You go back a year, there is none. They were in bankruptcy, there was just nothing there. The stock was not for sale. So it just started right here. This is its first day back after a year of not being on the market. Now, just because the stock wasn't on the market doesn't mean the company was out of business. They were still doing everything they were supposed to do, but they had to get their finances straight before the stock could go back on the market. So they were making headway while the stock wasn't. Now, the market did open up on Friday at $7. That's where the stock was at, and it fell to under $5. And right here is where the news came out. And boom, it took off. Now, if you go from $5 to $15, that is not 100% gain. That is a 200% gain. They've got it listed here at 103%. But the fact of the matter is, this thing covered 200% in one day. And it's only been trading for three days. Now here's the curious part. If we only look at the warrant, the warrant has been trading for a full year. No problem. The stock hasn't been trading, but the warrant has, and it has been falling. Now here's what's peculiar. The day the filing came out for the reverse split, they quit selling the warrants. The 26th was the last day the warrant sold. But the very next day, the 27th, they started selling the company stock again. So the company stock is on the market, but the warrants are off the market. The way I figure this, because they are uplisting and going to be selling units, the stock and the warrants will come together. So I think they've stopped selling the warrants until this NASDAQ thing is completed. Now the NASDAQ can take one day or it can take 10 to 12 weeks if it's gonna be done. If it goes longer than that, chances are it's not gonna happen. So we don't know exactly when this is gonna flip. It could be tomorrow. It could go to the NASDAQ tomorrow. When it does, BTRXW is what you're gonna be looking up, BRTXW. That is for the warrants, and as you can see, there are no warrants right now, not under that ticker. There are no warrants, so we are waiting for that. Now let's go back to the actual, not that one, right there. All right, that is, you can see, this is the company stock. And even though I've got it back for a year, it still shows that this is the most current sale on the 27th. So I am coming back on that five minute chart. So we can see you had very little volume here. And what did we say the volume was? About 2,000 shares. Well, it said 2,000 shares over the last 30 days. There was only one day one day of 2,000 shares. Now maybe there was, maybe this was 1,000 and this was 2,000, but this day was 30 times more. Why? Come on folks, I've already covered it, now do it again. She's uplisting with a super low float of even 3 million, outstanding for a stem cell research company going on the NASDAQ. They are selling warrants that are instantly in profit. You buy the unit, you get a share of stock that's gonna go up in price, you get a warrant that doesn't go up in price, and you can buy a share of stock cheaper than it's going for right now. And if you're patient, those warrants can make you a lot of money later. Now here's a bonus, something most people don't know. When you buy a unit and you get your stock and you get your warrants, they don't have to stay together. The warrant came as a free gift. You can sell your shares the very next day after you bought them and get all your money back and you get to keep your warrants. 
That's right. You get to keep your warrants as a free gift just for buying the shares. You sold the shares back, got your $140 if you bought 10 of them. You got 10 warrants that you can buy 10 shares at $9 anytime in the next five years. So two years from now when the stock is at 200 bucks, you can pull out your free warrants Give them $9 with each one of them. Get a share that's worth 200 bucks. Sell that and you just made $191 off of every warrant. This is a great deal, folks. I like this. I really am excited about this. I'm not quite sure what other news there is going on right now. There is a website you may want to check out, but I brought this to you because right now the warrants aren't selling. The stock just started selling. The filing came out on Friday. The float has become super duper small and the value of the warrants is growing. And as this price goes up, the warrants are worth more. So on Monday, if this is still running excited because of the super duper low float and it goes to $28, your warrant will allow you to buy that stock for $9 and sell it for $28. So all we're waiting for now is for the uplisting to be approved. Once it's approved, the ticker for the warrants will be up and it can be bought. The price will not change, at least not for the warrants. Don't know what the price for the uh, unit itself will be. That will be interesting. Uh, I don't know if it's a set price or if it's going to work with the price of the stock at the time. So it will be interesting to see in either case, when you get your share, you're going to get a warrant that allows you to buy that same share again for only $9. So however expensive it is, the more expensive it is, the more profit you're making. And the longer you're willing to wait, I'll bet you a stem cell company uplisted onto the NASDAQ that gets a drug on the market whew, could be very, very profitable, short run or long run. Now, to be completely honest, folks, I started doing my normal DD to share with you. And the very first one I looked at right there jumped out at me. And it had so much appeal that, well, I decided to focus in on just that stock and its opportunity for you. You see what I'm talking about. You can buy these units, get your shares of stock, sell your shares, keep the warrants, trade in your $9 with each warrant and get a share of stock that you can make money on. Or sell your shares and hold those warrants for a couple of years and make good money. Or just hold it all and sell when you're making better money. There's lots of ways to make money with this and this is a unique situation that does not develop often. Rarely do I see warrants that I can buy for cheaper than the cost of the stock. This is an excellent deal. So whether it be a short or a long hold, I'm sure this is going to work out into your favor. Just don't forget about it. It isn't on the market yet and you're going to go about your daily tasks and forget it came up and things may happen while you're not looking. Put it on your watch list, folks. Don't miss out on this opportunity. It's something new. I've shown you something new, which is something I love to do. Remember, folks, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.